Hello, welcome to another video. Now this is all I have to do. I need to write the equation of the circle. But all I know is that the circle is centered at negative 3, 5 and it's uh, tangent to the x-axis. So what do I need to be able to write the equation of a circle? I need to know the center and I need to know the radius. Okay, so obviously I've got the center. Now, the extra information of this being tangent to the x-axis, what does, how does that help me? That's the only question that I have today. But I know that to write the equation of a circle, I just need to know what the h is and what the k is. Remember that the standard equation of a circle is this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared will be equal to r squared. I know that h, k is the coordinate of the center. So I already have almost all of my answer. So if I want to write the answer, it's going to be x minus, what's the h? The h is the x coordinate, which is going to be minus negative 3. So um, instead of writing x minus negative 3, I'm going to write x plus 3. I'm going to square it plus this is going to be y minus, what is k? k is 5. So I'm going to write this. And then the only part of this remaining is the radius. That's all. Okay, I just need to know what the radius of this circle is. Mm. Now, you have to go back to your geometry. When you did circle geometry, you know that the distance from the center of a circle to, the, to any point on the circumference is called the radius. That's by definition. Okay, the distance from the center to any point on the circumference is the radius. So how can we know any distance given? Do we know from here to here? Well, we know this. See, a tangent touches a circle. And at the point where the tangent touches a circle, the radius is perpendicular, is normal to whatever to the center, to the radius. The radius, rather, is normal to the tangent. So the x-axis is a tangent right now. It's behaving like a tangent to the circle. So the radius has to be at right angles to um, the x-axis. So I can show you this. If I decide to draw the radius, you see that? This is at right angle to the x-axis. Oh, this also is at right angle to the x-axis. So you can see that this distance, this forms a rectangle. So the distance from here to here must be the distance from here to here. You see that? So the height of the center is actually the radius and we know how high from here this point is. You see, from here to here is actually this five. So the length of this line is the length of this line, and that is simply the y-coordinate of the center. Makes our life a lot easier. So in this case, I know that this is 5 because this is 5, because the coordinate of the center is 5, so this must be the point 5, and that is the height since this point is 0. From 0 to 5 has to be 5. So the radius of the circle is 5. And that's what you have to always recognize whenever you have a tangent. One of the axes is a tangent. Then the coordinate of the other axis must be the radius of the circle. Okay, so now I can tell that the radius r, this is the radius and it's equal to 5. Okay, it is the height of the circle from the x-axis. So this is going to be 5 squared. Okay, so our circle is x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 25. That is the equation of the circle centered at negative 3, 5 tangent to the x-axis. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment. Make sure you share this and be subscribed if you're not. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.